This massive structure, home sluices at Colic Park, was built in the middle of the last century. It was part of a river management scheme after Nottingham was devastated by floods. So they're a movable barrier to control water levels. They're pulled up when it rains a lot, but they're an immovable barrier for fish. The force of the water coming from the four metre drop of the sluice is too much even for the strongest swimmer. So now the Environment Agency is doing something about it, building effectively a bypass for fish. Well, this is the plan that we've designed for the fish pass. As you can see, it's a large 200 metre long run and it's divided up into 21 little chambers that the fish can get through. So what is the problem that the fish are encountering at the moment? Well, in the 1950s, the sluices were built and that effectively stopped all movement of fish upstream. Uh, and for something like the eel and the salmon, that's, that's quite a, a, a poor situation because they want to access all of those rivers upstream. When the slalom course was built, a few salmon do get through that now, um, but it's a very inefficient pass and they can only access through there some of the time. After many years of absence, salmon started to reappear in the Trent in the 1980s. That's what started the Environment Agency thinking. And it's not just the salmon that are struggling. Uh, eels want to get upstream and there's no eels above this structure now, uh, where once they were very common. But all coarse fish as well want to swim upstream to find new places to feed and to spawn. While a few intrepid salmon can make it through the white water course at the National Water Sports Centre, eels are much weaker swimmers and none get through. The project is costing around £8 million but will open up 250 miles of river for all fish. Each species has its own story to tell, so the salmon are heading off to uh, the sea just to grow on and then come back to the river and get as high up as they can into uh, the Peak District to spawn. For something like the eel, well they grow on in fresh water and then they head off uh, to the Sargasso Sea near Bermuda uh, to spawn and then come back as young. Fish provide an important food source for other animals. This scheme will benefit wildlife throughout the region and beyond. Rachel Royce, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham.